Hey guys, welcome to Link tutorial series. I'm Ripon Dutta. Today I'm gonna discuss about select clause. So, in a query expression, the select clause specifies the type of values that will be produced when the query is executed. So, the result is based on the evaluation of all the previous clauses and on any expressions in the select clause itself. A query expression must terminate with either a select clause or a group clause. Now let's get us started. Alright, first of all I want to create a new project. Let's say link part 5 select clause. Okay. First of all, I want to create a list of integer item. So, let's say a scores equal new or I can simply Let's say 87, 90, 65, 78, 99, 73, and so on. So, I want to get the highest score. That means which is greater than 80. So, highest score equal from, let's say, num in scores where num is greater than or equal ad select num as you can see in this case I am selecting the num that means this num which is the individual value of the least value now I want to print the values let's say x in scores x so run the project control f5 now you can see 879065 in this case basically we are getting all the values because I missed one things this is not a scores a score mean this list it will be high score so now you will get the values 87 90 all right so even we can add another methods let's say array so this is to array function to array method or if you don't specify this link automatically get it or you can say to list so run the project yep and if you want to get only the first value let's say so in this case it will be first or default you can see so in this case high score should have only one value so cannot iterate using for each loop so we can just print the high score you can see 87 first value so I'll be discussed these methods in details later but right now I wanna create I wanna show you something different than this let's say I have a class employee
id first name last name and let's say decimal salary date time bar day oops string first name last name all right so let's say we have a list of employee so list employee new list of employee so new employee id equal one first name frank last name hanna salary birth date equal new date date time let's say 1975 12 day 31st new employee similarly you can create other employees so id is 2 craig show 120 k 73 28 similarly we have another employee employee id 3 Will Smith let's say hundred K and birth date eighty five eight fifteen. So this this is a list of employee. Now I wanna query over this list so hmm let's say bar query result equal from EMP in employees where EMP dot let's say what salary is greater than or equal 100k select EMP on the time we are selecting the whole object now I wanna show this let's say employee E query result So e dot first name e dot last name and then say e 
dot salary now run the project control f5 yes you can see Craig so 120k Will Smith 100k now if I want to get only EMP dot first name then EMP dot let's say birth date EMP dot salary then there is a problem we cannot use employee anymore because in that case we don't have any employee right now we have just column first name birth date and salary that's why last name is giving the error so instead of we will get only birth date as you can see birth date first name and salary run the project yes first name birth date and salary so whenever you you have multiple objects or multiple collections on the time you can specify separately now i like to mention one more thing that let's say i want to return first name and last name in a single column so that means i want to return something like that last name so first name and last name in a single column let's say only name name equal this name equal first name space last name so our column name should be name now run the project excellent now as you can see first name and last name is added in a single column then birth date and salary so you can specify as you want i think you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel if you have any difficulty or if you are facing any problem while you are coding or if you don't get it please comment in the comment box so see you soon in the next couple of tutorials till then bye